breaking news alerts and the weather authority forecast. This is Good Morning Cincinnati on Star 64. And good morning, Cincinnati. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm John Lomax. I'm Sheila Gray. We'll get to your top stories in a moment. Feels a little better this morning, we think. I, actually, this is about, yesterday afternoon was about as nice of weather as you can have. Yeah, in November? Uh, it, it, yes. For sure. Good morning, Tara. Certainly feeling good and looking good too. Here's Augs for a good morning to you in Butler County. We're starting to lighten up the sky. Sunrise at 715, so you've got 15 minutes to go. But this is kind of the sweet spot of the morning. Yes, it's going to be chilly, but we're not as cold and we're getting to those bright and brilliant colors. Look at the horizon here. Just beautiful over the bend in the river as the morning readings sit in the 40s for the city. Now we do have feels like reading a 34. So yes, even though we are better. You're still going to want the winter gear to start you out. Southern winds at nine miles per hour, keeping that cooler feel in place. It's also should be helping out when it comes to fog. So we've got five miles of visibility for Lunkin, just over a mile in Middletown. That's not concerning at this time, but it has notably been a problem for the last two weeks with our dry conditions, nearly 10 days of dry here. So we're going to watch it and make sure that it doesn't impact your morning commute. Here we go with temperatures now and again warmer for the most part. 47 Batavia, 46 in Brooksville, Kentucky. We've got 36 though in Harrison in the freezing mark in Hamilton. Daytime high on average around 66. We're going to increase clouds, bring in a small chance late this afternoon, evening overnight for some rain, real light. Most of it is actually probably going to evaporate before it makes its way to the surface, but the chance is there for an overnight low of 46 thanks to the clouds. And then tomorrow, one of the better days of the week, mix of sun and clouds and 66. But Thursday, rain, then it's cold and an even some snow talk. So we're going to detail all of that at about 730. For now, Jen, how about the roads? I've got good news for you. If you travel the Ronald Reagan Cross County Highway, we they have reopened it now. Just got a note in from ODOT that Hamilton, or excuse me, 126, the Reagan Highway eastbound is now open at Hamilton Avenue. It had been shut down. It looks like there's no longer a delay in the area. They do say the shoulder is blocked, so they've moved the crash scene that was there earlier over to the shoulder. So you may still see some flashing lights.